हेलो चिल्ड्रेन साईराम वेलकम बैक टू सोशल स्टडीज क्लास दिस इज पार्ट फोर आर लास्ट सेशन ऑन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वन आर गवर्नमेंट सो चिल्ड्रेन इन आर टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू नो मोर अबाउट द प्रेसिडेंट एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द Prime Minister and Council of Ministers. Before we begin with our today's session, let us have a quick recap about what we studied in our last class. We studied about Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Let us see about Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha is the lower house. of the parliament the members of the lok sabha are directly elected by the people for a period of 5 years therefore it is also known as the house of people any citizen of india about 25 years of age can contest elections for the lok sabha citizens of india above 18 years of age can vote in the general elections to elect the members of lok sabha there are 543 constituencies therefore the lok sabha has 543 members and maximum strength is of 552 members of which 530 represent the states 20 members represent the union territories and two members represent the anglo indian community let us see about rajya sabha the rajya sabha is the upper house of the parliament the members of the rajya sabha are not elected directly by the people of india instead they are elected by the members of the state legislative assemblies for a period of 6 years therefore it is also called as council of states the rajya sabha is presided over the vice president of india it has maximum strength of 250 members of which 238 are elected and 12 members are nominated by the president one third of the members retire every 2 years therefore rajya sabha is also called as a permanent house unlike the lok sabha now let us learn more about the president of india children tell me who is the most favorite president of a country do you know okay let me show the image yes now you might have guessed yes dr apj abdul kalam and tell me children who is the current president of india yes honorable ramnath kovind
ओके राम नाथ कोविंद द प्रेसिडेंट इज द हेड ऑफ द कंट्री द प्रेसिडेंट इज इलेक्टेड बाय द मेंबर्स ऑफ लोकसभा राज्यसभा एंड स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स ओके नाउ लेट अस सी मोर अबाउट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स टेल मी चिल्ड्रेन हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया yes here is the image the prime minister of india is mr narendra modi are you all aware of it children okay as we all know that india goes into general election which is generally held every 5 years the different political leaders hmm the different political leaders or political parties across the country contest in this elections conducted by the election commission of india election commission of india the leader of the party which gets the maximum number of votes is been elected by the president to form the government and he or she becomes the prime minister of a country and his office is for the period of 5 years okay and year is the group of council of ministers who will assist him for the smooth functioning of his government that is these ministers look after separate departments of the government for example we can take the defense health agriculture industries and finance uh, etc the prime minister and these ministers make up the council of ministers therefore the prime minister is the head of the central government and all the powers rest in his or her hands okay children now let us know more about state governments the laws for each state are made by the state legislative assemblies and their members are directly elected by the people of the state okay the members are directly elected by the people of the state and it is for 5 years the head of the state government children tell me who is the head of the state government yes cm that is the chief minister is the head of the state government the chief minister chooses his or her council of ministers okay the chief minister chooses his or her council of ministers to help to run the government now children who is the head of the state who is the head of the state yes the head of the state is the governor okay don't get confused between the chief minister and the governor okay the head of the entire state is the governor whereas the head of the state government is the chief minister okay so the governor is appointed by the president of india now let us know 
more about the courts if any citizen of india feels that his or her fundamental rights are denied then he or she can approach the court for the justice now first of all you should know what are fundamental rights fundamental rights are a group of rights that are offered to every citizen irrespective of caste creed religion etc so if any citizen of india feels that his or her fundamental rights are been ignored then he or she can approach the courts for the justice so at the district level we have the district courts okay at the district levels there are district courts then the high court okay the high court is at the state level okay the highest court in a state is the high court whereas the supreme court the supreme court is at new delhi which is the highest court of the country the decisions made in the supreme court on any matter is final decision okay so here we come to an end of the chapter now let us have a quick recap children points are there on the screen we all will read together aloud okay number 1 in india there is a central government to govern the entire country state governments for each state and local governments for the local rural and urban areas number 2 in the central government the parliament consisting of the lok sabha the rajya sabha and the president makes laws number 3 the state legislative assemblies make the laws for the state number 4 municipal corporations or councils are responsible for local governance in the urban areas whereas zilla parishads and gram panchayats look after the rural areas number 5 the supreme court is the highest court in the country now let us see the words to remember which is there at the end of the chapter in your textbook government a group of people who are responsible for ruling a country is called as a government parliament the body that is elected to make and change the laws of a country election process of choosing a representative by voting okay so that's it with our today's class i hope all the topics are clear so do read the chapter and also complete the objectives which are at the end of the chapter okay until then do take care of yourself and goodbye and a happy diwali